Hi y'all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. If you are in a lovey-dovey, happily ever after kind of thing and you're not looking for a partner, you just want to be single, you know, just, just consider that, okay? This reading may not be for you. This is this could be for singles. It could be for couples. Use your intuition, please. Whatever comes up, comes up. We'll see what happens. Taurus for the month of June. I have no particular plan for this month for any of the readings that I am about to do. I'm uh, for this segment, whatever deck I am called to use is what I'm going to use. Whatever decks, whatever oracles, there's no, you know, repeating plan unless it happens. No consistency. Now, all these words that are coming out of my mouth are for you. You're the first reading for the month of June. I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus. No consistency. June? Hmm. Ace of Wands. Yeah, there could be a little bit of excitement. You could be, you could lose your focus because of this excitement. Uh, you could be on a new adventure. You could be starting a new adventure. Either way, there's a new exciting opportunity. Something, something excited. This could even be a new sexual partner. I don't know. Whatever this is, it's it's exciting. There's a you know, it's from above. Somebody is freeing themselves from something. They've made a conscious change of some sort. Drop some baggage. Follow their intuition. Mm -hmm. Stood up for themselves. Yeah, somebody's made a stand. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody has made a stand. They've listened. I've listened. Went through a period of enlightenment, hanging around, being stuck, trying to look at things from a new perspective. Made some sort of change, a big change. So Taurus, you must have made a big change, huh? Some big change has happened. Your intuition led, led the way. It's like this... You know, when I see the High Priestess card, and that is this card right here, it usually tells me that somebody has followed the plan, followed the destined plan, you know, the script. Interesting. But I just got done saying a minute ago that there's, this is, there's no consistency here. So... No plan. I have no plan. I started this reading out with I have no plan. The High Priestess is about a plan. Following a plan. Starting a new journey, a brand new one. Big, 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 brand new phase in your life is starting. Could be what you've been wishing for. <laughs> yeah. Dream come true. Really could be. Something that you have been intuitively see seeing. You know, this has been coming for a while. You knew it. You knew it. That's what it is here. Ooh, it must be love. It must be love. The two of cups. What the hell is this? But it feels like there's a feeling of not going through with it fully. Out of fear of attachment, perhaps. You know, oh my gosh, this is kind of scary. It's kind of scary to get attached to this love. What if I'm being lied to? What if this is all a game? What if this is bullshit? What if this person is all talk? Yeah, this. what if I'm living a dream? What if this really is too good to be true? You know, this is an illusion. Uh, please, I don't want this to be an illusion. I think there is a new opportunity, a new beginning here, a major new phase, excitement, an exciting new major phase 
upon you in which you have to decide whether this is an illusion or not. Is this what I want, for one thing? Somebody's made a huge conscious change. They've changed something in their lives. Something has ended and something new has begun. And it seems like it's a dream come true. It's part of the plan. The plan is, is playing out finally. But there's some kind of indecision here about this new exciting opportunity that has just opened up. There's a little there's still some confusion. Ah, commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. The hair of font reversed. Somebody, and like I think I may have mentioned that earlier, see, these, these messages, they come and go. Somebody may be afraid of, of committing to this at this point. You know, am I really ready to plan the future? There's a plan here. This is part of the plan, but somebody may be like, oh my God, this is this, I really have to follow the plan now? Do I really have to follow the plan? The plan, the written script? The, two, the high priestess is like following the written script, the universal script. And with the Hierophant reversed, of mirroring it, it's like, woo, I'm not sure I want to. Oh, my God. Here we have intuition, you know, the, the high priestess with the high priest. Okay, but the high priestess is upright. The high priest is reversed. Okay, your intuition is nudging you along the way. You know what this is. You do, and you you feeling like this is dream, like a dream come true. You know, but then again, you have to be able to determine your ego, your feelings, your needs from the real deal. <laughs> and then, okay, well, anyway, let me get back on track here. The high priestess with the high priest reversed. Your your intuition is telling you, but you're ignoring your inner guide. Or you're ignoring, you're, you don't have all the faith that you should have. There's a lack of faith here in yourself or what they, whatever's going on. A lack, a lack of faith in this being wish fulfillment. Oh, yeah. A lack of a lack of not wanting to commit as well. I mean, I do want to commit. I do, I do, I do. But then I have to, you know. What if it ends in disaster? Son of a gun. Oh, so, yeah. This is divinely guided. Whatever is going on at this time in your life, it is universally guided. It's it's driven by the universe. It's part of your plan. The tower, universe. The world, tower. These are both part of the plan. This is, Whatever is happening is part of your plan. And it feels as though there's a lot of, there's a little bit of fear of the unknown fear of this relationship of this union whatever it is fear that it will end up in breakup fear that it's all a lie fear that you know there will be a, a disconnection or a divorce or you know for some of you there could be a divorce on the horizon i don't know what the hell this is oh my goodness let me get this zoomed in june Somebody isn't putting in all the effort. That's what's going on here. Somebody is has given up. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody isn't putting in enough effort to look at things from a new perspective in this relationship, whatever the hell it is. And it could end in disaster because somebody's not putting in the work. So what the hell is this? You know, somebody needs to get really creative and refine their focus. Hmm. Somebody lacks confidence. Somebody lacks confidence. In a relationship with this person. And it could end up breaking apart because whoever this is that doesn't believe in themselves could be you know problem it could be a problem 
you know, if you don't, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't have confidence, if you don't have courage, if you don't have strength, if you don't have willpower, if you don't have discipline, you know, especially self-esteem and self-worth, and you stop putting energy and time into something, it could absolutely break up. It could break apart. And, you know, it looks like there's a, a strong connection here. So just a word of advice is to get creative and to keep your focus and to really be confident. Don't let fears of the unknown or fears of, your, of who you might not be hold you back. Whatever's going on here is part of the universal plan. It is. And this is about making the conscious change for happily ever after. So there's a change that you need to make, Taurus, so that this happily ever after can be. Okay? Um, there is a new beginning here with that world card. It's like a lesson has been learned. And maybe that's when the new excitement, new exciting opportunity comes in. There is a new opportunity. It could be a new partner. Now, this could have already happened or it could be happening now. But there is a new, I think, there's a new partnership in which it could lead to wish fulfillment and a new beginning. But somebody doesn't believe in themselves. They lack the faith. And who they are and their own self-worth, their own self-esteem. And that's that could cause the upheaval in the relationship. This is the tower, which is upheaval. Lack of self-esteem and self-confidence and self-worth, the strength reversed, could cause upheaval in a relationship. When all you have to do is be confident, be focused, be proud, hold your head up high, get creative. Make sure you're choosing things. There's consequences for your actions, right? This is a consequences card. There are consequences for your actions. If you don't make a conscious change, because the Ten of uh, Wands reversed is somebody who makes a conscious change, and it's mirroring this one. If you, oh, the Seven of Cups. If you don't make the conscious change that you need to make, there will be consequences of that. This is about learning the lesson to make the change to bring you wish fulfillment. This change has to do with believing in yourself. This is for June. There's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity for love here if somebody would just go with the plan. Trust. Trust their intuition. Stop denying that. Just do it. Have faith. Have faith. Faith could cause lack of faith. Could cause a breakup, Taurus. That's what I see for June. We're going to keep going. What else does Taurus need to know for June? Somebody's afraid of a third party situation. They're afraid of it. Uh, really scared. Really scared to, that that's happening. Really scared that that's going to happen. Scared that um, unable to have any fun or celebrate because they feel like whoever they're with may have other choices. This is choices. This is choices. And there could be some control issues because I, I feel like um, somebody is holding on too tightly. Holding on. All you have to do is, is let up a little bit. Release. Relax. Don't fight. Don't worry. Let go of that wounded warrior um, perception. Okay? Let go of it. There's no need to... Have your guard up. Let your guard down. Right now, here you are, Queen of Pentacles, reversed. Right now, somebody is feeling very suspicious and jealous. Oh, my goodness. And it's causing, there's, there's consequences for that. <laughs> there is. There is. Some, you're, it's probably you. I mean, this is you. And it's kind of like holding on. It's a, it's a controlling thing. And here it's it's like be patient. 
keep investing, <coughs> keep doing what you got to do to make it grow, but release a little bit, to let go, don't, don't fight it, don't hold on so tightly, what's that, hold, hold on loosely by cheap, hold on loosely by cheap trick, that, yes, loosely, hold on loosely, there's, there's no, you can't, clinging will get you nowhere. And, it, and this all, like I said, stems from lack of self-confidence, self-worth, and self-esteem. Somebody has those issues, and it needs to be dealt with within yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's time to love yourself. It's time to nurture yourself. It's time to stick up for yourself. It's time to look at things from a new perspective. Look at the Queen of Swords. The queen, this is unfriggin' believable, okay? It really is, okay? <laughs> it really is, okay? The queen of, uh, of pentacles reversed, the queen of swords upright, the queen of wands reversed, and the queen of cups upright. So what, we have f f four women here? Four women. Is that your fear? Or are you being called to find all the resources within you all the resources within you to get where you need to be. It's about self-love. It's about nurturing yourself. It's about caring. It's about looking at things from a new perspective. It's about using your intelligence. It's about using your mind and your heart. But I feel like you guys, but there's a lack of confidence in your own self <laughs> somebody somebody needs to take back control of who they are their their confidence they need to hold they hold their head up high and that they aren't I mean that's pretty prominent here um it feels as though there's a new opportunity or there has been a new opportunity that has entered that's exciting and it's been offered to you from above it's part of the script but there's a lot of um, obsession here and suspicion and jealousy and fear of getting hurt fear of disaster fear of committing then getting hurt fear uh, you know trying to control the outcome trying to control the other person here when you're you should really release release and just you know love yourself and when you love yourself the rest of the world will love you as well because this right here this queen of cups she's very loving very kind very nurturing and it's underneath this investment card. Invest in yourself, please. Instead of being stubborn and suspicious and jealous, look at things from a new perspective. Look at things from a new ob objective. Look at it from a new eyes. Look at it from the other person's reality. Look at it from a, a stranger's reality. Your own lack of self-worth and self-confidence and self-esteem is it's holding it's blocking you. This is the Hierophant reverse. It's a blockage. That's a re-blockage. It's blocking you from happiness. Anyway, I feel like this is a month of uh, <laughs> making the conscious change. You making the conscious change to look at things from uh, somebody else's reality other than your own so that you're seeing the situation absolutely clearly. Because if you don't, you could pay the consequences of your stubbornness and your jealousy and your subsp suspicions. I hate to even put this reading out there. Justice is on the bottom. It's about doing the right thing. 
It's about being honest. It's about integrity. It's also about karma and decisions, whatever's going on. It's about seeking balance within this relationship that we're talking about right here because we're definitely talking about a relationship. It is about seeking balance. And it has to do with you making a conscious change to let go of the stubborn, jealous, possessive, suspicious traits that you have inside of you. You have to let go of those. And that ain't easy. Good luck with that. When you do that, you will bring balance to your life. And that's when you will receive the justice you deserve. Because you'll be free. You need to let go of worry. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, we're going to get one of these. Um, Taurus, June. There could be a breakup because of somebody's, you know, what I, what I already said. I'm going to go over it again, but there could be a breakup. Somebody's trying to control him. Definitely too controlling. Now, this doesn't have to be you. This could be the person you're with. Okay, we have them all here. This could be the, the other person that's controlling. They're trying to control you, and you might be like, no, I have to, I'm not going to, no. Mm -mm. So somebody in this dynamic is controlling. And somebody is trying to, or they're, you know, <laughs> maybe they don't want a commitment. This can go so many different ways, it's not even funny. Somebody here is afraid of commitment, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. That is the truth. There's no doubt about it. With the hangman and the high priest reversed, somebody is afraid of commitment, or they don't want to be in a commitment anymore. Or they lack faith that anybody is going to commit to them. That could be the case. Either way, there's somebody here. There's a commitment issue this month. And it can all be fixed. It can be. It can be fixed. This can all be fixed if somebody finds their self-worth, their self-esteem, and their self-confidence. And that's with that we have the Leo reversed and the, the Queen of Wands reversed. If you, would, if you would find that fire within you to relight the spark and, and love yourself again, you know, and bring that vibrant you back, then everything would change. I mean, that's just the way it is. But there's lack of faith. So anyway, somebody needs to really listen to their inner guide, too. Your intuition's been telling you that this was coming. Your intuition may be telling you that this person is the one. I mean, that could certainly be the case. But your lack of faith in yourself is the major problem. So my advice to you this month is to hold your head up a high. Get creative. Don't slack. Don't get possessive. Don't get jealous. Don't be too controlling. Don't be too obsessive. That's my advice. Look at things from a new perspective. Make that conscious change to change those negative qualities within yourself as much as you can. Make that conscious change to do so because there is a new exciting opportunity here for you. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. And that is the truth. I said you need to look at things from a new reality. And that's making the conscious change. You guys are learning. The world card is a lesson. You're learning a lesson this month about where you're going. About where what hasn't worked in the past. Some, this old you hasn't worked. It's time to, to be, you know, I'm sorry. Somebody may need to make a conscious change to let go of those negative traits as hard as it is. That's when the major, major lesson will be learned. Whew! Jeez, little girl. That is a heavy one. So anyway, Taurus, I think that we all got the message for June. There's an opportunity, a new opportunity that has been given to you from above. It's the very first card, the Ace of Wands. Okay? It's exciting. It's, um, there's passion, there's growth, there's room for growth, 
It's been given to you from above. It's destiny, it is, with these universal cards. It was destined to happen. It's here. Don't fuck it up. Talk to you later.